It's not every day you get a captive audience of high school students who want to hear more about farming and agriculture. However, that was the case for the FFA legislative luncheon at the Mississippi Trademark. And the Mississippi Farm Bureau Federation took full advantage with speeches from President Mike McCormick, State Affairs Representative Camille Scales-Young, and newly chosen MFBF Ag Ambassador Shelby Hall. A question and answer session followed as students wanted to learn more about what the future holds for agriculture in Mississippi. Got a lot of them to get up and ask questions about what is my future in agriculture? How can I be a leader of this industry? So I see a, a great potential in the future of agriculture here in the state, and I don't think there'd be a better group than FFA teaching uh, uh, the kids, giving them the leadership skills to, to be part of that future. We're telling them that, hey, there's 9.9 .9 billion people that are going to be here by 2050. And so they are here today to learn about it. This is a perfect opportunity to teach them about it. So I'm glad Mississippi Farm Bureau is here to do that. Hall served as a Mississippi State FFA officer only four short years ago. Today, she helps President McCormick and staff impress upon these teens just how much their voices will be needed for the future of agriculture. I feel like agriculture is going to like grow and it's going to be even bigger and so like everybody needs to have, everybody in here should have a voice. I thought it was very important to be here because not only are we meeting those people that are over what we do in our daily lives, but it's really important to see their views on things. For these FFA students, the next step includes picking a field of study then an occupation hopefully related to agriculture. My plan is to go to Mississippi State to major in agricultural education, just to be that voice for my students and to help, like on the advocating part, teach them about that as well. Because without events like this, a lot of people don't hear about it. And so I want to use my platform as an ag teacher to really push the advocating side as well as inspire them in the FFA as well. FFA advisor and teacher Millie McKinney sees it a little differently. Even if these students don't work in agriculture after school, the foundation for agriculture in their lives has already been laid. Because they can take that out into the medical field or they can take that into the school system or whatever they decide to do with their life and they can still spread that word. Still, ag needs the next generation of agriculture leadership to rise up. The average age of a farmer in Mississippi is 59 years old. The next Mississippi Farm Bureau president could be in this room. There are so many other ways, though, to lead not just in MFBF, but across the agriculture landscape in the state. Even something as simple as leading a conversation on social media can make the difference for a more knowledgeable public. Like I'll scroll through Instagram and I'll see the posts, but I never always think to share them and think of that as a form of advocating as something so simple I can do with a click of a button. So I think that was really eye-opening for me and something that I will definitely take into the future and begin to do as well. I always tell my kids, y'all are the future. The first step is learning how to advocate and y'all are the ones that go out and keep this thing going for the rest of us. We're kind of doing our part, but they're ultimately the future. They determine what's going to happen from here on out.